Thank you. Hello, I'm, I'm going to be uh, very literal with you today. I've got three poems and uh, I'm going to address the theme in our hands, in our, in, as I say, a very literal way. I'm going to do two about things that I love to hold in my hands. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to do one poem that's just about hands. Uh, yeah. So uh, the first poem is a love poem to a tea bag. Um, and I, I, the, the tea bag kind of symbolizes all the cups of tea that have held my life together and, and helped me make friendships and sort of be in the community. Um, and because we're here in Totnes, home of Atmos transition towns, where no matter where you go, you're never more than 15 feet from an aromatherapist, as well you know. <laughs> it, it should go without saying that the, that the tea bag I'm talking to in this poem is a GM free fair trade tea bag. Okay? It's one of those unbleached ones. It looks like it's been used once before. <laughs> But it hasn't. It really hasn't. So, to the tea bag, you are a four-cornered star shining rustily in hot water. You are the perforated parachute that makes my morning landing soft when I crash in from dreamland. You are a savoury scented sandbag. As half empty as you are half full, your permeable membrane an inverted flood wall. You're the force that through infusion drives my waking hour, a freshwater sponge soaking up my power to resist you. I insist you're always welcome to muddy my waters. For when I'm blue and brew you up and pour you out into my cup, you are not a disappointment, although you are a disappointment as a Christmas decoration. <laughs> and also as a duvet, you vey very low tog rating. <laughs> produce of more than one country, you are an intercontinental holistic missile. Yes, I'll always keep our mid-morning appointment. For the best of many heavens is, elevens is. And when you're hot for me, to be honest, just the one is enough per pop for me. Consolation prize, foul weather friend, treasure at the rainbow's end, calm inducer, tongue loosener, rescue remedy, biscuit softener. You are often a subtle social worker or community relations officer. Peace broker, mediator, china stainer, radiator, nerve soother, mood changer. Don't you ever be a stranger. My multitasking flask filler, waker, upper, cupper, maker, throat stroker. I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, And uh, thank you very much. I, and uh, obviously, the best thing to hold in your hand is babies. Everyone knows this. If you have a baby to hold, that's brilliant. And when I had babies of my own to hold, I wanted a poem like the tea bag poem, but about babies. It just felt appropriate. And so I commissioned one from myself <laughs> uh, because I'm a poet. You know, it's, it's my job. So I, I wrote a poem in the style of the tea bag poem. You know, inspired by my by my own babies. And I called it, what are you? But the correct way to talk to a baby isn't to say, what are you? It's to go, what are you? <laughs> and you should actually shake your face a bit like this. Uh, it's quite scary for the baby, but it's what you need to do. Everyone knows that. So this is called, what are you? You're a wide-eyed windfall, a button-pushing pimble. You're a dream debutante, gene data bank, love bucket, pocket primate, utterly crackpot, smack not lottery jackpot. What are you? <laughs> You're a wide-eyed windfall, a button-pushing pinball, life-altering, all-terrain, boogie-buggy passenger. You're a huggy cuddle craver. You're a snuggly cradle raver. You're a bit of a groover, a duvet remover. Embedded bed jewel, schedule, rearranger, stranger, softener, smile, widener, shoulder, broadener, extraordinaire. You're a suckler for nourishment, a chuckler, a cackler. You're a tackle tinkerer. You're a rugby tackler, quick thinker, deep stinker, aromatherapist. <laughs> You're a home improvement, a luminous ruminant, a whole new artistic movement. Not always the gentlest experimentalist. Nipple twister, blister burster. Cup breaker, beaker leaker, laughter lover, sensation seeker. You're a much sought after, after dinner gobbledygook speaker, aren't you? You're a VIP doing VI poo. <laughs> You're an up chucker, flannel sucker, mucker, upper, upper body workout kit, shit manufacturer, bachelor, botherer, authority ignorer, brain rewirer, furniture restorer, requirer. <laughs> 
you're crap happy when you're out and about. You're the opposite of fossil. You're a bustle sprout. Yes, you are. You're a dream debutante, gene data bank, love bucket, pocket primate, utterly crackpot, smack not, lottery jackpot. What are you? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Um, thank you. Now, my last poem about hands. Uh, we had thought, I mean, we, we, uh, the organisers, we were talking, maybe I could do a crowdsource poem, and you'd all write one line each on the subject of hands, and we'd sellotape it together, and I'd read it, and it would be great. Uh, but there isn't time, of course, for that. So I tried to imagine... <laughs> the lines you would have, you would have written, um, and, uh, you know, some of them weren't so good, so I, I left those out. <laughs> In my imagination, some of them were fantastic. And I left those out, too, because they made me feel a bit, you know... <laughs> Not so good. Um, this is the poem that we kind of wrote together, but mainly me. <laughs> it's called A Hymn to Hands, and I've got, I've got to hold it in my hands because it's just it's the world premiere. Okay. <laughs> hands, you're so handsome and talented. <laughs> it's your line. <laughs> some hands is as some hands does. Good for healing. For harm, clenched fist, open palm. You're sensitive, you're arty, but you also do karate. <laughs> you speak so many languages, but I do not like the smack of you, the so-called knuckle sandwiches, the least appealing snack of you. When I look at the back of you, lines, wrinkles, knuckles, veins, despite what people always say, I know if these were country lanes, I'd be lost. Go the wrong way. Hands, you've come a long, long way, not just from a nipper's grippers, but back in the day, you once were flippers. <clears throat> <laughs> and did those hands in ancient time crawl from the protoplasmic slime? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Uh, Karen. Original foragers, movers and shakers, flint splinterers, beaker makers, workers in wicker who fashioned the first coracle millennia before we made you go all metaphorical and hold on to abstractions, our future in our hands, our destiny in our hands, our physical health and physical well-being in our hands, our ability to switch from fossil fuels to renewables, quite important, in our hands. A hand can only stand for so much. What it's made for is touch. Hands, you're better at your bread and butter job. Hand to mouth, grub to gob. Good for sewing things and growing things, for picking up and throwing things. You've a special way of knowing things. Good for caressing, undressing, addressing envelopes, pointing out antelopes. <laughs> for caring and swearing, you're the on the quiet cursor. Itch scratcher, ball catcher, and vice versa. The wiper of spills, typer of thrills, pickers of pockets, pickers of noses, flickers of Vs, flickers of bogies. Strokers, prodders, pokers, porters. You are manufacturers, but not manu supporters. <laughs> <clears throat> Digital fidgeter, ever faster draftsman, gesticulator, calculator, master craftsman. Good for knitting, for knotting, for literal nitpicking, nutcracking, picnicking, petting and putting. For holding my head in when things do my nut in. There's so much we can hold in you, can heat up from the cold in you, can lovingly enfold in you. Hands, mitts, jukes, paws. I may not know the back of you, but I would feel the lack of you. Give yourselves a warm round of applause. 